What's up, Zeus? You're staring into space. Huh? Oh, I was just thinking how much Astral has changed. Fia's men really got a fire in them these days. Like they're more enthusiastic now. Or just more than they were when I was around, at least. Seeing Captain Fia in action, it really inspires me to want to give my all for her. You got that right. With Lord Lias fallen and his son Seas out of the country, Captain Fia is the only person who can lead the Astral Night Corps. That's all the more reason we need to support her. We'll need to train harder than ever, and we'll need to protect Astral more fervently than ever before. Yeah. You're right. Still, today was a hell of a day, huh? Remember what Captain Fia said to us? Oh, yeah. She was all incompetent, and you embarrass me, and damn you all! Man, there's something about Captain Fia's voice. I can feel my spine tingle whenever she chews me out. You too? Oh, it's like whenever she's yelling at someone else, I think about how wonderful it'd be if it was me instead. Yeah, exactly. Oh, Captain Thea. I'd love it if she were to actually beat me up someday.
A hidden door. <laughs> well, if it's hidden, then how the hell are we gonna find it? Quit whining, Sias. Try looking over there a bit. Please forgive me for surprising you. Could you please put your sword away? I do not intend to fight you. Well, damn if you're not a feather folk. My name is Yoshua. Would I be able to call upon your strength, great Highlander swordsman? I have found what appears to be a hidden door up above this wall. Can we trust you on that? Yes. There's a large boulder blocking the door, and regrettably, I lack the strength to move it. Right, I'll handle it. <laughs> This'll be a piece of cake. Folk adventurer before. Don't you guys live your whole lives on the tops of mountains and stuff? Well, wouldn't that also be the case for Highlanders? I thought the only ones who ever left Astral Kingdom were the ones that got exiled. If you didn't want me to pry, you could have just said so. That was immature of me. Yeah. Jeez, if you don't want to talk about it, don't. Ain't gonna kill you over it. Come on, Roddick. So I suppose the word exile is offensive to say around a Highlander traveler. That's just the way he is. He never takes things at face value. He's always meddling with other people's affairs like that. Really? Wouldn't seem that way, would it? But that's the way he's been ever since we've met him. But you're pretty unique yourself, aren't you? I mean, it takes a rather uncommon person to try to rile up Sias. Well, he's absolutely correct. A feather folk like me traveling hither and yon just isn't done among our people. In fact, most of them think I'm pretty eccentric. And that's why I've tried my best not to get involved with other people as much as possible. You've got a story behind you, don't you? Bet it wouldn't beat ours. Come on, tell me. They say there's no such thing as a chance encounter. Who said what? Oh, it's an expression from my homeland. It just means there might be some larger fate at work behind the people you run into. Well, actually... <sighs> I'm searching for my sister. Huh? I'm looking for my sister. We've been separated since childhood. somehow managed to survive being thrown off a cliff, but my parents were killed, and they took away my sister. I don't even know if she's dead or alive. I can never forget it. I can't get it out of my mind. That overwhelming sense of doom, that shield with the crimson seal. There couldn't be more than one of those in the world. A shield with a crimson seal? Wait, that isn't the Crimson Shield, is it? The most famous Adaro sword master the world's ever known. 
You know him? Nah, I couldn't be. I've got to be mixing them up somehow. Oh, I see. So you're looking for the Eye of Truth to find your sister and her abductors, right? Well, let's go then. It'll be tough for you to go beyond here by yourself. Right. Yo, you're late. What the hell were you doing? Sorry about that.
We're surrounded! Man, those guys were boring. Whoa! I would like to avoid battle if I can. I think this is as far as the temple goes. <laughs> I can practically hear the treasure calling for me in here. What's with this wave of energy I feel here? Judging by the technology in this room, it, it practically looks like it's from our own world. Maybe a bit different, but there still shouldn't be anything like this on Rogue. What are you all yammering on about? Come on, let's check this place out already. <laughs> you all right? <sighs> oh, I'm fine. Chamber at once. There is nothing here for the cruel and selfish. You don't have to be so hard on them, do you? Would you be able to return from whence you came? To your homes in Roke? And to those in another world? How do you know that? Well, come on, look at you two. Your temporal axes have been sealed off from the rest of the world. I mean, you're sticking out like a sore thumb. Oh, stop talking like that. Why must you keep borrowing bad habits from people? Are you the runes? The original inhabitants of this land? You know these guys? I know of them. This is the first time I've ever met one in person, though. Huh? Color me impressed. If anyone's aware of us at all, it's usually just as the source of all magic. I have come in search of my sister. We've been separated from each other. If you see that as selfish, I'm afraid there is nothing more I can say. But I promise you, I hide nothing in my heart. I come to you with my soul laid bare. She's not here. I hear of an Eye of Truth that allows the Bearer to see anything he desires. Are you saying you do not have it? The Eye of Truth? Well, I'll be a monkey's uncle. The legend's still being passed down. Sounds like the story's drifted a little, though. We have nothing like that in this chamber. But you are on a search of your own, are you not? Oh, visitors from another world? Yes. For someone the same as you? Yes. A man and a woman. That we should be able to handle. If they are someplace where magic exists, we can feel the dimensional conflicts their temporal axes give off. You can? Just do not disturb this place any longer. That is our sole request. Alas. 
land blanketed in fallen leaves. I feel a disturbance in one of the towns there. A land blanketed in fallen leaves? The Van Kingdom! But there are three of them, not two. What? Ugh, it probably doesn't matter. We've kept our end of the agreement. Now you must never come here again. Guess we'll have to head for the Van Kingdom then. Seems that way. Well, that wasn't a total bust, was it? I mean, at least we got something out of that temple. Yeah, you're right about that. At least we know Millie and the captain are still safe. Besides, if we had just barreled on ahead, we may have gotten into trouble dealing with the monsters we'd run into. I've heard some damn crazy things about Van, you know. Like what? Like how strong the monsters are over there. Are you saying that the Captain and Millie's lives have been in danger all this time? Well, yeah, I, I guess that's what I mean. So, uh... How about we get moving? The Van Kingdom. Well, the bigger they are, the harder they fall, huh? You never know, maybe those friends of yours got strong enough to kick some butt over there. Millie stronger than me? That'd be pretty crazy. Yeah, you'd be even more whipped than you are now. What about you? I will continue my search for my sister. I bid you farewell then. Wait! What do you think about coming with us? I do not think I'd be anything but a burden to you. No, Yoshua, you would be a tremendous help to us. Your convictions are strong and persistent. I can feel them. They are impossible for me to ignore. I am traveling to avenge my sister. This means I will have to fight sometime and I may have to involve you. Are you still sure you want me to join you? All right, then let us travel together. I think I'm going to enjoy this. Let's head for the Van Kingdom. Wait, speaking of which, how are we supposed to get there? There's a boat over in Trop to the southwest that ought to take us to Ekdart. The first thing is to board that ship and get ourselves over to Silvalent. Then let's head for the port. <laughs> 